In this video I want to look at finding installing a plugin and a plugin is a sort of application that was designed for Photoshop but can be used by other graphic uh, photographic programs like Affinity Photo. Um, not all of these plugins will work with non Photoshop programs but quite a few do. Now probably the most famous one is the Nix collection which was by Google but it's now owned by somebody else. Um, I have in the past made a number of videos about the Nix collection. One how to find it, install it and others about how to use it. Um, but this one is about a different plugin which is made by Topaz Labs. Now normally Topaz Labs make plugins that they sell um, but they do have a free version of a sort of as a collection of some of their um, plugins all collected together plus they will also I think they try and sell you extras after you got it you don't have to go for the extras you can just stick with the free collection now as you can see by my desktop here it's called it's called Topaz Studio and you can install it as a standalone program it doesn't have to be a plugin so you could just keep it as a standalone program to make alterations to your pictures or you can add it as a plugin which is what I'm going to do now the plugins are found in the filters menu and you come down to down to the bottom it's got plugins and there it will list all the plugins that you have installed now as you can see I have filter forge which is one that you can pay for I have the Nix collection which is free from like I said used to be Google and I have um, a one that I paid for from Topaz Labs which is called Topaz Adjust 5 and the Topaz Studio which as you can see which is one where this video is about which has seven different um, effects that you can add but I will come back to that a little bit later so that is how you can access the plugins now how do you find and install these so let me go to the internet now first of all I'm going to have a quick look at the Nix collection about how you can find it um, Nix collection was originally made by Google they used to sell it and then they made it free and you can still download it from this Google site which I will add a, a link to but as Google have now sold the Nix collection I'm not 100% certain how long this site will be available the company they sold it to is DXO and they are going to be incorporating this into their next release I believe and you can also sign up for information about their new version which they're going to be releasing in 2018 so you can do that but you can also download the current Nix collection from here as well again that should be free so let me just get rid of that one get rid of that. and onto Topaz Studios um, from Topaz Labs now again you can just click on the free download button to get it there's also a video here which will show you a bit more about it and there's also some more information down here about the uh, plugin if you want to know a bit more before you install it so I will add a link to this into the description of the video so I'm assuming that you click on this and you download it to your computer now I'm not 100% certain whether this is available for the iPad versions of Affinity Photo I don't know too much about iPads I don't know whether you can it, it, there's even an ability to have plugins in the iPad version um, and if you can how you install them 
or anything like that. So this is mainly for the PC, which I use, and the Mac. So you've downloaded and you've installed Topaz Studios onto your computer as a standalone program or into the plugin folder or another folder on your computer. So once you've installed it on your computer somewhere, you can then come to the edit menu, down to preferences, or you can press control and the comma, I believe that is, or command and comma on a Mac. And it will open up the preferences panel. And one of the options here is Photoshop plugin. Now, on my PC at least, a default folder for plugins is C program data affinity photo one plugins. So you could put the um, program into that folder or whatever the default program uh, folder is on your computer. Now if I remember correctly, one of these, I think it was the number one folder or 1.0 folder was a hidden folder on my PC, which made it quite difficult for me to find this plugins folder. Um, you say you just had to unhide folders, but you can make your own folder and navigate to it. Or like what I have done here with the two Topaz plugins is you can click on add and then you can navigate to the different folders where you have installed these plugins. So as you can see, the Topaz Jazz 5 was already in my Photo Plus plugins folder. So I navigated to that and added that in. And the Topaz Studio plugins I installed onto my E drive and I navigated to that. And then once then once you sort of have clicked on add and sort of added it to the program you'll have to click close and the program will ask you about restarting and you'll have to restart the program before the plugins are actually installed into affinity photo um because it says like changes made by these settings will affect when you restart affinity so once it is restarted you could come back to this preference panel and they will then be listed in this panel below all the available plugins that you have. Now some of them will be green like this and say working and some of them will be yellow and say unknown. So if you put a tick in the allow unknown plugins to be used all those unknown ones will be able to be accessed so that will basically mean you can use them but serif who make affinity photo have not tested it and they don't know whether it will work but as far as i've found out so far all of them that are listed on my computer at least do work so we can now close that so I'm going to just pick this picture at random and come to filters, down to plugins, Topaz Studio, and I'm just going to pick the first one, which is Clarity. So we just have to wait while Topaz plugin starts up. Which, as you can see, it takes a little while. There is a sort of splash screen where you can sort of click through the various um, screens that tell you about the program which you can stop happening when you start up but I can just close it so as you can see on the left here we have various presets which you can click on to get different effects and here we have the main picture that we are working on now I've, I've only had this installed for a little while and I've not really delved into it too much but you can alter some of the adjustments down the 
right hand side which I've not really looked at yet so I don't know quite how all of these work I just normally stick with the presets if I do use this plugin and there are sort of lots of other various options which again I've not looked into I will do hopefully in the future but I haven't yet and then when you're happy you can just click on the OK button down here and this will return you back to Affinity Photo so let us make a quick change let's see which one I like then you just click on one of these and it will change it to whatever option you've picked so you, you don't have to you can just click on every one if you want until you find one that you like the look of All right, let's, let's go a bit further down All right, let's try and desaturate grunge. And so that has made that a much more sort of HDR almost image, much more detail, taking some of the colour away. But let's say I'm happy with that, and I click OK. Oh, it says there are some availables, but I'll do I'll do that later. Do you know? So, so as you can see. That has now been returned to Affinity Photo, altered to the way that the plugin has done. I'm going to press Control and Z to return that back to the way it was, so you can see that that has done its job. And I will just come back to this plugin. Right, and just to have a quick look at here, you've got, um, where is it? Oh, this menu up here, which is next to the search option, where you have different um, options, which is down here, you've got the clarity detail glow, which was the menu options that were available in Affinity Photo, if you remember. So you could go click on the clarity, which is where we started off, or you can come down to glow and get all the different glow options. So for example, that one. And texture effects, let's have a look at that one. eighties haze. So as you can see there's there are a lot more options available. You could start off on the clarity one which is the very first one in the list in Affinity Photo or you could pick one of the others. But it's probably easy just to go to clarity and then if you want something different you can come to the menu button up here. But then you don't have to stick with these ones. There's also some others here. We've got monochromatic Sign a type with border. So you got that one there. Now, some of these will repeat. I think some of these are that might be found in these main collections. Let me say, for example, impression. If there is a black and white version in impression and a black and white one in clarity, they might all be then listed in the monochromatic option that's up here. Or if one that is, you know, ones that are suited for portraits that are found here might all be in the portrait collection. I'm not 100% certain, um, but I have seen some repeated in different menus. Um, like I said, I haven't totally really looked into this plugin yet. I'm still sort of tinkering with it and learning myself. So but m the main options are available from this menu here. So let's stick with this one here, which I've just currently have one, and I'll just click OK. Probably ask me. There we go. It's returned it back to Affinity Photo, and I can then um, edit a bit more if I want to, or I can just export it or save it, whichever 
option you prefer but export it under a new name so you don't overwrite the original so basically that is the end of my quick look at how to find and install Topaz Studios um, as it's free as well as the Nix collection I think they are both worth adding to your plugins folder to give Affinity Photo that extra bit of power and more options in your editing of photos so thank you for watching I hope this has been of some help to somebody and goodbye